Morning guys. Today's edition of Rich's Bitchin' Kitchen is brought to you by Big Rich, of course. Um, I'm gonna be making, we got people coming over tonight. So what we're gonna do is make some, what's it called, uh, buffalo chicken dip. And we're gonna use Fritos as the scoops, big scoops. Now, I just looked up a lot of recipes here, and, and some of them didn't call for cheese. Ouch. My recipe calls for, oh my goodness, mozzarella cheese and cheddar cheese, and you'll see why once we start making it. Okay, first thing you do, you take four pounds of chicken, and you boil it in water for 25 minutes. You say, huh? Yes, trust me. It falls apart. You can stick a fork in it, and it's hard to get out because sometimes it falls apart coming out of the water like that. Let it dry off and then take two forks and just shred it. That's what I'm in the process of doing here. Now you wanna see, look at that, it just falls right apart. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. And then once you get it all nice and shredded, Take it and put it into your mixing bowl. I've got more to shred here. I might fast forward this for you guys. I don't know. If I do, you won't have heard me say that. Okay, now that that's all shredded, you've got shredded chicken. <laughs> We're gonna take some Frank's Red Hot. You guys all remember in the past, it used to be called Durky Red Hot. Just regular Frank's Red Hot sauce. Mix it in there. That's one cup. Then we gotta take One cup of the ranch dressing, always use Hidden Valley. Okay, now you want to take two of these um, Philadelphia cream cheese. Don't skimp and get the light, light fat, low fat, none of that. Even if you're on a diet and you're breaking the diet, you're only going to break it for this little bit of time. It might as well be worth it, right? Right. Okay. Let's mix these in here. Um, also, a cup of sour cream. Now, I will mix this one in a little bit, but it's still not room temperature yet, so I'm going to wait on that. And I will show you the recipe before we're done. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But you say, that's almost done the way it is and it sounds so great. But it's not. It can get better. We're going to take this, once I mix in all this red hot with everything, and the sour cream. Oh, it smells wonderful. And the, the uh, cream cheese. We get this all mixed in. I'm going to then add the cheese. Now the cheese, it ain't that good, but when you bake it and it's so melty and you eat it like that, oh my God, it's just amazing. 
Now also you're going to want salt and pepper. Yes, if you whistle while mixing it, it goes better. I'd rather have tunes playing, but can't do that on YouTube. Okay. Ah, looks amazing, right? Chunky, thick, ready to go onto your scoops, which you can do. You can take a scoop and taste it right now. There you go. Mmm, so good. Okay, but now we're going to add the cheese. I got my hands wet, I can't open the bag. Okay, it's time for a knife. One cup of shredded mozzarella. Half a cup of cheddar. Okay, now you mix this together. I wish I had a bigger bowl. Oh my goodness. This got my mouth watering. Okay, turn your oven on. Bake, 350. All right, now we're gonna fill two 13 by nine pans. Why two? Two's always better than one. Flatten this down. See now how that took me what, 10 minutes? You just want to spread it out in the pan so that you give the cheese ample time and place to melt. That's all. So there's one done. Look how nice. Okay, there's two done. Kitchen door. Boom. Now let's put these in the oven. Clean up the mess. It's one thing I always taught Tracy is while you're waiting on the oven and cooking, it's time to clean. Okay. Okay, so now we've cooked it in the oven, made the cheese nice and melty and all that, and I've let it cool off in the oven. Now we're gonna pull these out, ouch. And what we're gonna do is, now people, you might ask, why are you taking it from one tray into another? And I'll tell you why. If I leave it in this thick tray, people will take their scoops and they'll wanna scoop all the way down and get their fingers wet and everything else. So I put it in a, a smaller, shorter tray and spread it way out for people to scoop with instead of putting it in a bowl. Ugh. So let's take this out. Oh my, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, now 
I'm going to take this here and spread it out. Look at that. Man, I wish you guys had smell o vision This is awesome. I just want to eat some. It smells so good. Now when people start eating this, they're not going to stop. It's worse than Lay's potato chips. There's one. Oh man, this smells so good. This one out. Plus, it cools off quicker this way. So now. Frank's Red Hot. We just drizzle over the top. Make it look party. Okay. Now you take this. I guarantee you, your people will just love this. You open up a bag of Fritos. You set it down. You take the camera from the cameraman. <laughs> And you tell him, go ahead and taste it. There's Josh, Mr. Metalhead himself. Now, you've never had this before, right? Nope. All right, you tell me what you think. Yeah? <laughs> okay, leave the rest for later. And, uh, mm -mm. no? <laughs> <coughs> well, at least hold the camera for a minute then. <laughs> Now, I told you guys I'd give you the recipe. It's very simple. This is it. Try and zoom in on just that. I'll hold it perfectly still. Got it. Okay. If you guys didn't get it, you can rewind the video and pause it right there and write it down. But, very simple recipe. So good of an outcome. This will be gone, trust me. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed today's... Uh, uh, installment of Big Rich's Bitchin' Kitchen, <laughs> brought to you by the metalheads themselves. <laughs> you guys take care. Stay fishy, my friends. <laughs>